Welcome to Sew Like a Pro Time. I'm Teresa Sigmund and you are in the right place to learn to choose, alter, and make the dance sport, country, and skate dresses of your dreams. Today I'm filming on location in the Nashville, Tennessee area and I have with me Duffy Betterton. We are in her consignment store called Dance Dress Couture. And what we're going to do in today's video is take a tour of some of the dresses that she has on hand, such as the one I'm wearing and the one she's wearing, and talk to you about some of the really clever, beautiful items that she has in-house right here. Now, Duffy, you said you co-own this with your mom, right? Yes. And how did you two get into that? So my mom and I are competitive dancers, amateur. We started dancing um, about five or six years ago and we loved the ballroom scene. We loved competitive dancing. We started dancing as um, amateurs and we started with simple dresses just mm -hmm. from a local department store. And at one of the first competitions that we went to, we saw all the blingy dresses and we thought, oh my goodness, we want to wear those dresses. <laughs> of course. How do we do that? How do we wear those dresses? Our first event that we had was actually just kind of an open house. And we said, if you have dresses that you would like to list with us on consignment, bring them. And the first night we had 30 dresses. Oh, perfect. Nice. <laughs> so it was a great beginning. And then we quickly, um, just in a couple of months, signed up to go to a couple of competitions. Nice. Our dress collection grew, as did our clients. Our favorite thing about this business is helping women find confidence in what they're wearing so that when they step on the dance floor, they dance to their best potential. Mm -hmm. We love seeing that when they step out of the dressing room and they spin around or sometimes there's tears or just the huge smiles. That is spinning. I'll spin while you talk. Yes, yes. <laughs> this is a great dress. We, this is a Chris Ann Clover dress. Um, it is brand new. It fits. It's so fun. Um, we love the design and the bling. So we do buy some dresses new directly from designers. Mm -hmm. Such as this. Yes and resell those, um, but the majority of our business has been consignment. We, um, Such yes. as this. Yes. How many dresses do you have on inventory in there now? Um, we have a couple hundred dresses. That's a lot. And your yes. website information or has yes. your contact information, yes. consignment, absolutely, um, percentages and things yes. like that. Pre-COVID, because yes. <laughs> we're actually filming this during COVID, so she, you haven't done a competition all year, but pre-COVID, how what was the average turnaround time for dresses oh yeah so it really depended on the dress larger sizes actually sell much quicker mm -hmm. so anything 10 and above um, sells much quicker because we have so many more dancers that yes. are that size um, so it could depend on the dress it just has to find the right fit and the right person um, usually within a year we'll have movement on a dress um, and then if we don't we'll kind of renegotiate with the consigner but that kind of gives you an idea under current circumstances, it's a little bit different. We opened our right. shop in February, and then got March came, <laughs> and we got shut down. <laughs> so um, it's been a little bit of a transition this year. Definitely not right. been able to go to competitions. Now, one of the things that is in very much in alignment with what I believe it's so like a pro is that to make sure that the person has a dress that looks great on them, that flatters the right body parts, that is a proper color so that you look youthful and vibrant and well rested. And that was one of the things that you said that you yes. like to really try to match, like a like a design consultant. Yes. Try to match the person with the proper dress rather than just make a sale. And then you also do some minor alterations if needed too. Tell me a little bit about that. Please. Absolutely. We will do some minor alterations ourselves and then we have a couple of different seamstresses that we work with. Mm -hmm. And so when we're at a competition or at an event or if somebody came here for a private try on, we would, because we know our dresses well, find the best dress that would fit a body type and color for um, a woman. And then if we need to make some alterations, like if we need to add some mesh, if we need to add some some straps to address, shorten it, lengthen mm -hmm. it, add a skirt underneath. Um, it's been really fun to kind of get to um, design and help make the dress that is just right for somebody. Yes, and then she had pointed out to me a yellow dress that was once upon a time a smooth dress and that you or one of your seamstresses cut it off yes. and turned it into several different skirts, which is ideal for country dancers because so often country dancers have to change costumes or at Quickly. least change skirts very quickly. Yes, yes. 
So yes. that's awesome to know. And then the fact that you also carry larger size dresses, large and even um, sometimes plus dresses. We look for them, we shop for them because we understand um, my mom is a large size mm -hmm. and so we definitely want to keep yeah. that in mind and uh, make everyone, dancers come in all sizes. <laughs> Absolutely. So we need dresses in all sizes. <laughs> This gorgeous dress that I'm wearing, and I love these starburst patterns, is made by... Chris and Clover from the UK. Now you um, find these just when they're on sale, or you actually yes. have them custom made for your resale shop? Um, we usually find them that we know will be a good size and a good mm -hmm. fit um, for our market, and what we think that will work for you know the style of dance, and um, so that's usually how we shop for dresses, okay. yes. We're not actually going to talk about dresses, we're really talking about a shop, but from a quick design perspective, having this huge starburst pattern go boom, 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 really keeps the viewer's eye bouncing around. Yes. And while I do not normally like shiny things on my waist because it's gotten straighter as I've aged, this particular one, because I can't breathe, looks fabulous. <laughs> Yes, it does look really great. It does. I and this, this, I love the, the this. gems on the bottom too and the way that it has the slits mm -hmm. in just the right spots. As you were, if you spun around and did, yeah. Oh my goodness, it has so much movement. Yeah, it would be really yeah. great. This really is a fabulous dress. Yes, lots of fun. And then this dress. Yes. It was actually made by one of my So Like a Pro members. <laughs> When I, she had it hanging sort of right where I could see it when we went into the room. And I was like, I've seen a picture of that dress. How can that be? And this was made by, seriously, by one of my So Like a Promers. It might have only been her second or third dress after she enrolled in the school. I've never seen it in real life until now. I've only seen a picture, which was not great quality. And this is really fun. So it is for sale. This is an example of one of the consignment dresses. And Suzanne did a really beautiful job with this. There's three layers of skirts. It's Lots got, of beautiful colors. Yeah, everything. there's crinoline, in, like a really wide crinoline in one layer. There's fishing line in another one. Yeah, uh, yes. that's super exciting. The one, this I loved was the way that she turned under the horsehair so that as you are in hold and stepping back, your mm -hmm. heel doesn't catch. Yeah, because so and, and that was a super clever detail, I yes, have to say. Because yes. and this, I love this too. This mm -hmm. purple, the one side. Stripe, yes, yeah, one side. She did a really great job with that. So oh, I, that was uh, quite quite a treat for me to see a so like a pro member dress and not yes. even expect it. Yes. Now, in addition to selling consignment dresses, or in this case, new dresses. You can, you can find Duffy online, and then once the competition circuit is going again for yes, Ballroom and Country, yes. fingers crossed, yes. then you'll also see her there. But she has some really clever items that you might actually want now. So I'm going to step out of the picture and let Duffy tell you about the Ballroom Box. Okay. Okay. So I want to tell you guys a little bit about the ballroom box. During quarantine, or during COVID, um, a lot of things changed. We weren't able to go to competitions, but we wanted to continue loving our dance friends and our dance family. And so an idea that had been percolating for a while came to life, and it's called the ballroom box. So um, we have our custom boxes. They come out quarterly. This is a quarterly subscription. It ships summer, fall, winter, and spring. And inside the box are things that are meant to inspire and equip dancers. So that's kind of our tagline, ballroombox.me. It's the website. Um, inside each box is six to eight things. Um, the value of each box is going to be $120 or more, and it is a $60 um, fee. And um, it comes out, like I said, every quarter ships directly to you. This would be a great gift for the holidays. This would be a great gift um, for somebody. Maybe you have dancing friends or teachers that you would like to send this to. It's a great gift to just keep loving people all year long. I'll kind of give you a little idea of some things that have been in the box and then um, some things that are going to be coming in the box. So this summer, or this fall actually, we had our crystal masks in the box. We all um, are at a place right now where we're probably going somewhere that we need a mask, so we might as well bling it out, be a little ballroom, and have fun with it, right? So we had masks in our box. Um, we have had some other really beautiful things, um, some very helpful things. 
One of the things we had this summer was a journal. This is a journal by the girl with the tree tattoo where you come in and it's designed specifically for dancers for you to keep up with all of your information from your dance lessons um, and your teachers so that when you come back to do your solo practice or just before your next lesson, you can review and you're ready to go. So with our box, we want to equip dancers and we also want to inspire them. So another thing that we used for equipping um, would be a shoe brush. We had some dancer socks or foot tubes, just some fun things. And then we also had some inspirational things like a makeup bag that says she's a dreamer, a doer, a thinker. She sees possibility everywhere because we really want this box to encourage women to keep dancing. Um, this winter, for our winter box, the holiday box, we are actually going to have two versions. We're going to have a male version and a female version because we need to love our guys a little bit too, right? So this would be a great gift for a teacher. I don't want to give too many things away, but there are going to be some really fun things in the holiday box um, for inspiration. There will definitely be some blingy things for us girls, and um, there will be some equipment as well to help us to continue to keep dancing. I've really enjoyed touring Duffy's consignment shop with all of these lovely accessories to go with it. So thank you so much, yes. Duffy. Will you tell everybody again your website, please? Yes, dancedresscouture.com. Perfect. Yes. And then if they're like big so social media hounds, they Absolutely. can find you there. Absolutely. On Facebook, Instagram, and Pinterest as Dance Dress Couture. So Good really deal. simple. You can also find the ballroom box at ballroombox.me and then also on Facebook okay. and Instagram. All right. I think the ballroom box is really clever. That's actually my favorite thing. I'm so excited about it. I'm really, really, my mom's like, oh my goodness, you're more excited about this than you have been in a really long time. It's so fun to shop for. Yes. Test things out for people. Oh yeah, the eyelashes. Yes, she's my eyelashes. Out. I'm testing now. So very fun. <laughs> love it. And then I love watching people unbox when they get the box and they send uh -huh. us a video. Uh -huh. It's almost like we got to see them, you know, it's just a yeah. little piece of our community coming back together. Yeah, so it's really Fun. The Duffy and I actually met because she was in the Latin Dress Design Challenge just a couple of weeks ago. So this is October 2020. But she said that you actually found me, what, several months ago? Yes, yes. This summer I found the Ballroom Challenge that was online <laughs> and kind of jumped in halfway through and I loved it. There were so many great things that fit along with what we do mm -hmm. as Dance Dress Couture and kind of design consultants as we help women find the right neckline, find the right color. All the things that are in those challenges are super fun and applicable mm -hmm. and very helpful in talking about how a dress is designed to fit a woman as we do alterations. Yeah, yes. so, so I think that's kind of fun. You never know who I'm going to meet on these travels. <laughs> yes. So thank you so much, Duffy. This has been a real pleasure. So again, if you are interested in buying a dress or selling a dress, then by all means contact Duffy. She has a fabulous collection and I particularly like that her design, fitting, and selling values align with mine. So for me, that is really important. Yes, so thank absolutely. you. Yes, all right, thank you. great. So if you have enjoyed today's video, please share it with all of your dancing, skating, sewing friends. While you're here, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and go to sewlikepro.com. Leave me your name and email address. I'll sign you up for the newsletter and make sure that you know when the next design challenge or design masterclass is happening. Yep. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so I think that is all for us today. I will talk to you again another time. Thanks so much.